Welcome, good people. Thank you for joining me for this pick a card reading. In front of you, there are three cards. Take a moment to select the card that you like, that connects to you, that gives you a vibe. And then, once you've made your selection, head down to the description box for the timestamp for your chosen card, and I will see you in your group reading. Good luck! Hello, my dears, and welcome to my channel. This is the Strawberry Men channel. And you may hear some um, hammering in the back. Someone is getting their roof worked on. So I hope you can ignore it. I hope it's not too loud for you. Welcome to the future of this connection reading. I'm not going to do a connecting energy question for you today because I anticipate this reading may be a little long. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the reading. Let's see what we have. I want to open up the reading here with taking a look at how you are showing up in this relationship versus how they are showing up in this relationship. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. We are going to open up with an African goddess card for both of you. All right, so how are you showing up in this relationship? Did you hear my knee pop? Oh, am I old? <laughs> okay. And let's take a look at how they are showing up in this relationship. Oh, all right. That was fast. Okay. Ooh. Interesting. Okay. So we're just going to take a little brief look here. I feel like you are slowly beginning to open up all right where you feel like it's okay to begin to reveal who you really and truly are um your authentic self and i think it's taken you a while and that could be from previous and past relationships that were difficult for you and so you've been more slow to open up in this relationship on their hand i feel that they may not be showing up as their authentic self all the way, especially when we have the card masks, okay? I feel like, and Secrets Reveal, Queen of Sheba is a very bold card and things are coming to the light with this person. I do feel like they're holding some things back, to be honest, and especially with the mask card. I don't, I'm not sure that they are showing up completely as their authentic self. And I feel like they may be showing up as one way and may be hiding. They may be wearing masks in this relationship, okay? So there may be some things that they have chosen to kind of hold back, all right? So that's interesting coming out. And let's take a look at that. Why are they showing up that way? All right, let's use this deck for them. What are they hiding and not showing up as their authentic self in this connection, okay? Okay, we did have the Seven of Swords. Interesting. So we have the Lovers. This, yeah, to me, the Lovers is the duplicitous card coming up with this, with the Seven of Swords. The Ace of Cups. Interesting. Okay. I feel like this person tries to show up that like they are more confident than what they really and truly are. I do feel like this person has two sides. With this lover's card, I do feel like this is a two-sided person, okay? I feel like things are slowly going to be revealed and coming to light, especially with this page of pentacles, that you're going to begin to see a different side of this person. You may have already seen this with this person. I feel like this person has a lack of love right now. Like, um, and I, oh, I don't mean to sound, 
negative but i feel like this person's cup is empty and that they can be a bit of a drain at times and so they may be wanting to show up as this positive and wonderful um person that has it all together but really inside they feel empty and maybe they are kind of pulling your energy in okay especially when we have the seven of swords with the strength card here this is an interesting mix i feel like your person may have a, a side where they may be a bit angry they may have ulterior motives i know wow this sounds this sound may sound a little dramatic here but i feel like this person may have ulterior motives or just doesn't want to be all the way up front with what's really going on within their lives so i do feel like this is a person that may be trying to hide an insecurity as well that maybe they don't want to be vulnerable they do feel insecure and that they don't want you to know that okay and so i feel like this is a person that is presenting a front a bit okay to be honest um let's dig in and figure out why that is what's going on with this person why are they like this what's happening with this person okay what's happening okay this is based on pride this is based on their image and their pride this is yeah this is they love to their outward appearance on how people see them and view them is extremely important so there may be things going on in their life that doesn't really align with who they really are like what they have in their life i really feel like this person doesn't really have a solid plan for what they want for themselves with the two of wands but they like to show up in that way they like to look like they have it all together so keeping up their image is extremely important to them and they're trying to figure out what they want to do next i want to see how this is affecting you dear heart mm, and maybe that's why you've had a slow opening up okay let's see um how is this affecting you my dear Okay, I'm going to take that one. That one's coming out. Yeah, it keeps you confused. It keeps you wondering what, what is happening in this connection. What should you do? Like, you're legit confused. Okay. All right, let's see. I'm going to shuffle on the other side. Okay, so it keeps you um, on your toes. It keeps you confused it keeps you on your guard it also maybe this person showed up to you differently in the past when we have the six of cups being reversed the nine of wands here maybe they um there was a point in the past where you thought everything was beautiful and lovely and good and maybe you're hoping that you can get back to that all right um it keeps you on your guard with the king of swords again it keeps you feeling like i need to be on my toes and keep logical okay so it keeps you feeling that way okay nothing on that side i it keeps you on um, guard yeah like this it keeps you feeling like i'm not sure that i can be open with this person i feel like less you are less worried about it and feeling more strong though i feel like you aren't letting it affect you to the degree where it's keeping you anxious i think now you're like i'm gonna see it as it truly is and see what it truly is and so now i feel like you're coming out of it strong in this situation um and choosing to look at it really with clear and open eyes and take the rose colored glasses off and saying hmm where do i need to stand what do i need to do in this particular situation okay so i think it's doing that for you here i want to take a look at advice for you and the future of this connection okay what can you expect from this person next is what i want to do what can you expect from this person next what is this person going to do next in this connection
what can you expect? What can they expect from this person next? Okay. So we have the hanged man. We have the ten seven of cups is back. Um, we have the king of wands and the four of cups. I feel like this is a person that doesn't have their own life together. And although this is a relationship that presents a good opportunity for them, I think they're not ready to have this type of relationship, to be honest. I feel like this person needs to do more work on themselves first. I feel like this is a person that is more interested in getting themselves together, which is honestly what they need to do. Really work on themselves and not drag you into their confusion. Um, I, I don't want to insert too much in my opinion, but they do seem genuinely confused about what they want to do, what they want for themselves. And what they want to do in this connection. And they do realize that this is a good opportunity for them. But they also don't have any good strong direction for themselves yet. So I do feel like the King of Wands is a very positive card in this. But it also is surrounded by um, indecision. And I feel like this person needs to figure out the direction of their own life. And then they can make a good decision about what they need to do in this connection. Okay. Um, let's move on to see what the future holds for this connection. Okay. What does the future hold for this connection? Whoa. That was a heck of a turn on that. Okay. So I'm going to take that. I'm going to do this with a combination of yours and theirs. Okay, that one came out. Knight of Pentacles. Let's see what else. What is, okay. I love when my cards immediately pop out. I like that. Okay. makes me excited all right and what do we have let's go ahead and get rid of these so we'll have space oh my incense is almost burned out okay we have the knight of pentacles i thought it was something underneath it but it's not okay knight of pentacles we have the three of swords we have the hierophant we have the king of pentacles the three of cups and the six of pentacles listen and i don't mean to be a downer here all right. Um, I feel like how you choose to see this connection is going to shift. I feel like there will be some changes in this connection. They will be slow changes. I think the way that you guys view this connection, and this could be how you view it too as well, will shift. I feel that I feel that you have to be careful with being overly generous and giving too much attention and time to this connection. I feel the way that you've interacted in this connection will be different um, here when we have the Hierophant with the Knight of Pentacles. These two jammed up. These are wonderful cards. All of these are wonderful cards when they are in a focused and committed relationship, right? But when we have some, this card banging out here with the Six of Pentacles, remember, there's a beggar in this and there's an imbalance in this. There's one person who has the power in the connection. You always want to be careful with seeing this card uh, coming up in a love reading. All right. And so I feel that there's going to be a shift in how this connection, how you guys interact in this connection. I feel there's a lack of generosity and there's a lack of reciprocity in this particular situation. And I feel like maybe this may be evolving more into a friendship, just to be honest, okay? I feel like maybe you decide that maybe the both of you are better off as just friends. All right. Well, that, my dear, is the reading that I have for you. I hope it was helpful to you, my dear. And I thank you so much for watching.
Hello and welcome my dears and thank you so much for joining me on the Strawberry Mint channel. Today is a what is the future of this connection reading. I'm not going to do an open energy question because I expect that this reading may be running a little long for you today. Welcome to my channel my dears and let's get started. Okay, we are going to open up the reading here taking a look at how you are showing up in this connection group two versus how they are showing up okay and let's get into it also want to remind you that i do offer personal readings email me if you are interested okay my email is in the description box all right let's begin how is group two showing up those who have chosen group two how are they showing up in this connection that they are asking about let's give it another shuffle here how is group two? There we go. Okay. Ooh. A radical rebirth. Nice. Versus how your person is showing up in this connection. Ooh. Dang. These are. Oh, mom, mommy, what? Ooh. Ooh. You guys are a colorful group. Okay. Let's get into it. You, my friend, may have been experiencing in your life like a magical change on um, more into just being bold and living your truth asking for what you want and not apologizing showing up exactly as who you are saying what you want also just being um, very physically proud of just your body just being comfortable in the skin you are in and just showing this um oh this really authentic truth all right and i feel like your person is over here very sensual okay so you also may be very attracted to this person your person is just um ooh, just loving and vulnerable and just in tune with their emotions and being open i feel like you guys have a good juicy chemistry mm, let's get into this reading okay <laughs> all right let's see what we have all right so let's take a look at what your person wants from you and this connection all right and we're going to use these cards for them okay What does this person want from this connection? Okay. Ooh. What do we have? Okay, we have the magician. We have the three of pentacles and the king of wands reversed. Okay, and let's shuffle on this side. What does this person want from this connection? Okay, I think this person wants to turn things around, all right? For those who have chosen this group, I wonder if at when you first started this connection, maybe you guys may have been involved with other people. Not so serious um, at first when you came into this. Maybe both of you didn't really know exactly what you wanted or just kind of fooling around just a bit. And kind of just like enjoying seeing where things ended up. So I feel like at some point when you began this connection, you didn't really know what you wanted. Okay, there was no really any direction. I feel like your person wants to change this. And I like this too. Even this card is kind of representing, let's leave all that in the past. I want to go and head towards a different future with you. All right also represented by this three of wands i feel like this person now has come to this realization that they feel like this relationship can really go somewhere can be something can grow into something especially represented with this beautiful magician i feel like your person has been thinking about this imagining and examining this connection in their mind and really now kind of 
um, creating where they want this relationship to, to go, a vision for it. And they want to take you along, baby. <laughs> Getting this, let's go, let's go. I feel like if there's been some regrets or mistakes that both of you have made in the past that you both want to show up differently and definitely your person does. I feel like this person is just headed in a new direction in this relationship, okay? I want to take a look versus what's going on with you. I know that you know what's going on with you, but I want to check in, okay? It does help the reading. All right, so let's take a look. And it does kind of help you connect to the reading as well, if you identify with this. How do you feel about this connection? All right, in the way... Yeah, look at that. That King of Wands came back up. Yours is upright though and i love when my cards pop out like this beautiful which i shuffle with flyers but i love when i barely touch the cards and they already are popping okay yeah so i feel like something may have happened in the past with you guys who chose this group okay i feel like maybe um something as it began something that both of you may have regretted how you started this we also had some threes up in this reading you know, the threes reversed here. So I don't know if this relationship started out of based off on um, maybe you go, guys were both dating other people at the time. Maybe you both had side pieces or um, just weren't really committed to the connection. OK, or maybe there was some leftover residual issues that you both have brought into the connection that kind of jammed the two of you up. OK, um, however, this connection began was rocky. All right so you fit in your scenario to it and i feel like for you i think that you want to know confidently that you guys want the same thing and that you're headed in a new direction in this relationship you know i feel like you've forgiven if this person has wronged you or had some things that you that you didn't like that they did i think that you're moving past it I also think that you want to save face, though. There's a lot of ego with you, okay? Um, a lot of, I want, I think that you may be concerned about, because I'm taking a look at the Six of Wands mixed with the Four of Pentacles. I feel like you want to be confirmed before you take this thing public, before you come all out with your feelings, before you let people know, before you let this person know. I feel like, you got to be sure, 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 you know, that you're not going to get pooped on. <laughs> Ooh, that's a terrible visual, huh? But I feel like that's what you are feeling. Like you feel like, uh, -uh I got to know for sure that I'm not going to be make it, made a fool of. And I think that's very important. So I think that you want to make sure that this relationship has a future, that there is a vision for the both of you, that you both are on the same page and going in the same direction. So I feel like you've been hesitant to... Um, invest fully in this connection as well all right so interesting let's move on my dears all right I want to talk next about all right so we've kind of I want to talk about how they view you all right we talked about how they what they want from this connection how do they view you all right how do they view you and how do they feel about you so let's take a look at how they view you Whoa. Well, they're not very forthcoming on that. All right, so we have the King of Swords. All right. Okay, there we go. Aha. Nice. I'm going to take the star upright because it was sideways. All right. I like that, though. <sighs> All right, yes. I feel like this person feels that this relationship has the potential to turn into something long-term. OK, they feel like this is a relationship that can offer them some security, some stability. OK, they feel like the two of you can build a future together. I think that they also find that even though you are hard on the exterior, that that soft, 
underbelly is there that you have a very soft side to you where you can be naked and vulnerable and passionate and loving but you don't let everyone see see that and they know that about you and they would like to see more of that but you come across what you lead with is that king of swords energy okay you lead with that i'm tough i'm the toughest nails right but they see the other side of you and they like that, all right? They like that bit of um, duality that you have. Ooh. All right, I love that. Okay, now let's get into, my dear, <sighs> the big old question, okay, about, um, oh, that's how they view you. I'm sorry. I wanted to do how they feel. What are their feelings about you? That, um, that question kind of covered how they feel about you too but let's get a little bit more how do they feel about you okay all right eight of pentacles ten of wands had to catch those yeah see that kind of representing kind of like what we said before this one these two kind of popped out and then popped back in there so we're gonna take those all right listen they feel number one that you do hide a lot of your feelings okay i feel like you don't want people to know it has the potential to grow their feelings for you is that they want to work on this connection all right i feel that they are invested in this connection these two here are showing me that they are invested in this connection i think they're fearful though i think they're fearful of being hurt by you and honestly i think that they're afraid sometimes that you don't feel the same way because there's this really reserved quality to this and this is kind of checking in to me with you but i'm gonna shuffle okay do you feel on their side hold on i know you're like what what i i, I need to check on this do you feel on their side that they're holding things in how do you do you feel like they hold things in i'm picking this up as you do you feel like this person holds things in nah this person is dreamy and romantic and sometimes a little flighty to you <laughs> <laughs> okay so i feel like they may be the dreamy one right and you would like them to be more centered and more grounded so i think that they may feel like you have more of the control and the power in this connection and so i think that they would like you to be a little bit more dreamy and show some more of like i said the soft side um but anyway, I feel like your person is invested in this relationship. They're not going anywhere. They just are sometimes afraid that you aren't, that you don't feel the same way, that you want to invest the same things. And <laughs> that you call the shots. All right. They feel like you call the shots a lot in this situation. Hmm interesting okay okay all right let's take take a look at your number one question which is what is the future of this connection and we're going to use both decks to determine that for oh wow see i knew this was going to be long all right let's finish up the reading here with what is the future of this connection what is the future of this connection And of course, you have even more cards. Okay, we have the Justice, we have the Emperor, we have the Hermit, the Moon, the Two of Cups, good. Okay. And I want to mix that with yours. What is the future of this connection? You have less to say. Matter of fact, you have like nothing to say. All right. Except for this four of cups. Reversed. <laughs> All right. I feel 
feel like you are the one that's more hesitant in this connection. But anyway, I think that you guys are going to work on this this relationship. I think that you're going to make this a commitment, okay? I think that you are going to honor this as a solid commitment for the two of you putting in work. I definitely do feel there will be a definite boss and it could be you in this connection, okay? Because we do have the emperor. But um, I feel like this is going to work. Since this was yours, I feel like you're going to say, all right, I'm going to do it. <laughs> I feel like you're going to make up your mind about it because that indecision was there. Okay. The indecision is still here. I think, I think there's going to be reluctance to, to take it all the way at first. So I don't think you're going to just hear this reading and boop and hop into a relationship, you know, like right now, like tomorrow, everything is going to be solid. I think this is going to actually take some time. I think there is still some um, a lack of security on both sides. Um, I feel like both of you are a little hesitant to be involved, especially from the things that happened from the past. I think that you are both afraid to fully invest because I think that um, some both of you may be lacking a little bit of trust in each other. I do feel like, though, you are going to get there. I do feel like this is going to be a relationship that you are going to fall in love. Um, and you're going to be both equally committed to it, to developing it and seeing it through in, in the end. OK, so I do feel like it will turn into a love relationship and turn into a committed relationship. OK. All right. That is what I have for you. I hope it was helpful, my dears. And I thank you for watching. Well, hello there to my lovelies in group number three. Welcome to your reading today. We are talking about the future of this connection. Okay. So I do anticipate that this reading will be long. <laughs> so we're not going to do a connecting energy question. Just take a look at what's coming up and see if you resonate with it. All right. Okay, my darling. Let's go ahead and begin. We're going to open up this reading here today, taking a look at how you are showing up in this connection versus how they are. All right. So let us begin. Also letting you know that I do offer personal readings if you are interested. Okay. We are going to open up with our African goddess cards to take a look at that. All right. How are you showing up in this connection versus them? Okay. Oh, okay. I'm not going to take that just because it kind of fell out and I will, let's just go through it one more time. All right. How are you showing up in this connection versus how they are? All right. So we have grief and level up. Interesting. Okay. And let's take a look at how they are showing up. Just one for them. Ugh. All right. Oh, okay. Interesting. You guys may have come into this wounded. All right. I think that you are actively both kind of working on yourselves. There's a healing process at its beginning. Um, I feel like maybe you are a little bit further along on the journey to healing, but both of you may have come into this connection wounded already and working through your issues already. Um, we're definitely going to get some more cards. I think that you are working on ascending, on leveling up your life, getting past some of those old wounds and traumas that you are still carrying with you that have, um, created heaviness. And so are they um, with soul forgiveness. I, I think sometimes your person may feel like an outcast. Um, they may have felt like an outcast in life, but also in love. And um, definitely you guys are dealing with some wounds. Um, I don't know if this is from the past or have you wounded each other? So we're going to definitely take a look at that. And I want to take a look at that now. So what has caused this? Um, 
actually. I want to see how you are showing up to them versus how they are showing up to you. All right. So how are you showing up to them in this connection? All right. Oh, okay. That was bad. All of the cards have come out like that. Okay. All right. This is how you are showing up in this connection to them all right all right they feel like you're a solid person all right that you are a person this could have actually been already a commitment um um, perhaps even for some of you, maybe you were married at one time. Of course, that doesn't have to be with everyone, but you could have been in a really solid connection, okay? A committed relationship that broke apart. They feel like you are a solid person, that you are a loving person, that they are hoping for a new start with you, okay? They feel like you may have stopped trying and investing in the relationship, Um they're hoping that maybe things can turn around for you guys in this connection. That all is not lost within this connection. They feel like you are generous and stable and loving. and But also with that chariot, that's it just things weren't working the way that they should have worked. And maybe there's time for a re-examination because the way that you guys were interacting was not working. I want to take a look at that versus how um, how you view them showing up in this connection. How did you view them showing up in this connection? Okay, how did you view them showing up in this connection? I'm not going to take that. I don't feel like that was a true flip out. Okay. Okay. Mm. You, on the other hand, felt like your person was just ignoring the issue issues. They weren't communicating. They weren't talking to you. They were just in it. Just in the connection. Not coming up with anything new. Not doing anything new um not talking about the issues just there all right just in the connection just like well i'm in this thing but i also feel like you feel like they weren't hearing the issues and anything that you were saying they weren't coming up with new suggestions they were just happy to plot along in the relationship like it was and i feel like there was unhappiness on both sides but i feel like you were frustrated and had tried everything that you knew how to try from your cards remember you had the chariot and on their side they were just in the commitment in the connection but not doing anything okay so let's, let's take a look at what the real issue is all right and we're going to use both decks for that what's the real issue um on both sides what's the real issue what's the real issue of the connection We're going to take both decks. Okay. Ten of Cups. The Eight of Wands. Okay. Three of Wands. the real issue of this connection what's really going on in this connection okay so i do like to see these cards a lot of these cards that have come out these cards are actually very hopeful cards these are great cards the love is still in the connection the happiness the future 
it's still in this connection when we're taking a look at the Ten of the Cups and the Two of Cups. So yes, I feel like the love is still in the connection. I feel that you guys need to invest back into the connection. Put the love back into the connection. We have this Queen of Cups. It's like all the love has spilled out of the jar here with the Queen of Cups. And you have not invested the love that you feel in each other in the connection. You have to take care of the connection and each other. Do you understand? You have to nourish the relationship. So it feels like the love has drained out of the relationship, not that you've lost the love for each other. You just stop like take, taking care of the relationship. Do you understand? And so there's a need for the change to happen in this connection and quite rapidly and quickly. Let me tell you, I feel like something that would be a good start for you guys is to do something fun together something exciting maybe go on a trip here here not saying that a trip is going to change everything but i do feel like a change of scenery bringing something fun back into the connection where you guys can connect and have a good time again like you've lost that and it's it's a need for you to bring that back okay I want to take a look on, at what they can do on their side and what you can do on your side. I think that's important too. All right, so let's take a look at what they need to do on their side and what you need to do on your side. I think I'm going to try to get all these together on here. All right, what does what do they need to do on their side? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I was like, am I reading from the right one? Yeah, but I am. What do they need to do on their side? Okay. Again, I feel like I dropped those. So I want to come back and shuffle again. What do they need to do on their side? There we go. That's how I like to see them come out, pop out. Okay. What do they need to do on their side? And then what do you, I'm going to organize them. Just let me get everything out. What do you need to do on your side? What do you need to do on your side to restore this connection? is interesting i feel like you need on your side hold on let's just talk about their side first okay <sighs> welcome back all right both of you need to have a welcome back moment both of you have kind of checked back i mean checked out of this connection all right um your person still is over here having a trouble communicating they need to get in touch with their intuition. They need to get in touch with their feminine side. They need to get in touch with you. They need to get in touch with that, that softer side, that loving and caring side. Okay, they need to shut this, this laptop and come and bring something into this. Do some planning. Come up with, um, get out of stuck land. Get off of the tree and... Let's plan something. Let's get out of our heads and connect with each other. They need to be more loving. They have kind of lost that. All right. I feel like this person is not in touch with their feelings. I feel like they need to learn that and they need to learn how to love you and be more open, more loving to you. Okay. They need to also, even with this queen of swords, there's a coldness to them. But there's also not a coldness. I don't want to say a coldness. I feel they're just more um, in their head and they need to come out of their head more and actually make some plans on how they can change things around for this connection. They need to pay more attention. You got to decide if you're going to come on back to the connection as well. I feel like you may have checked out yourself. I feel like you are looking for a spark and a change in this connection. All right. You don't know where things are going. And I feel like 
you're going to have there's a choice and this is only if you want it there's a choice that you're going to have to make and if you want to be in the connection i think that for you it's a little harder i feel like you want to see some major changes happen in this connection before you invest any more of your energy and time into it you want to see a change all right so i think your situation is a little bit different I want to take a look at the final question, which is, what is the future of this connection? All right. We're going to use both of them for that. What is the future of this connection? What is the future of this connection? We have the Seven of Swords. Yeah, I've been feeling, but we'll see. We'll see. I want to see on their side, too. What is the future of this connection? What is the future of this connection? What is the future of this connection? Hmm. I feel that a lot of the same issues may continue and I don't want to be a damper and I want to say that of course you guys this is None of this is written in stone, okay? I do feel like some of the same issues may continue to happen I, I, um, in this connection and they may cease to get resolved, at least for right now. And I feel like you guys are not addressing the actual issues that you have with one another. I feel like there's a need to return to fun and excitement and connectivity in this connection. I do feel I want to I want to get a I want to get an oracle card here. Yeah. See, that is the issue with you guys. There's got to be more giving and receiving in this connection. It just seems like you guys are missing that. And I feel like the issue, for some reason, it's hard to resolve it for you two. I feel like none of you will take the responsibility. To me, this even looks like riding away from it like riding away from the responsibility here like instead of i think you'll begin to see things clearly but i feel like there's a lack of give and take within this relationship and you in order for you to restore it and i'm not saying it's a lost cause Okay, I'm not saying that you guys have the choice, but there's definitely needs to be a balance of give and take within this relationship if you want to see it restored. Okay. All right, my dear, that is the reading that I have for you. I hope that you found it was helpful, my dear, and I thank you so much for watching.